Blackmagic Fusion Studio 19.0 that was in beta has been finally released in its latest stable version just a few days ago. I'm sure those of you with experience actually know about Fusion Studio, but let's introduce it and go over it in general. Fusion Studio, not to be confused with Fusion Tools for DaVinci Resolve, is a node-based visual effects and compositing software on its own. Originally developed by Eon Software before being acquired by Blackmagic Design in 2014. And over the years, Fusion Studio has been used in more than 1,000 Hollywood blockbusters and TV shows, cementing its position as a leading tool for compositing. And recognizing this potential, Blackmagic Design has continued to develop and enhance Fusion Studio for the past decade and even integrate its tools into DaVinci Resolve, leading to the release of the powerful 19.0 version. So this recent update includes new rotoscoping tools, a new AI-based tracker, and improved efficiency with USD. So let's dive into the details of the update, starting with an update that will surely please fellow artists, and this is improvements to USD support. So to enhance collaboration between artists in teams and studios, you know, adding universal scene description or USD became essential for many software, including Fusion Studio. With the introduction of USD support in Fusion Studio 18.5, and now you could support data such as geometry, materials, cameras, lights, and even animation in the USD format. Alongside this, basic tools for manipulation and relighting were introduced, with more features arriving in the version 19.0. And by the way, four new nodes have been added allowing you as an artist to directly edit textures within Fusion Studios without the need to switch back to a 3D software. In addition, new volume tools enable you to load VDB volumetric files and control shading and field mapping. And while not perfect, I can clearly see that these updates demonstrate a clear commitment to better integrate the USD workflow into Fusion Studio, keeping pace with other industry-leading software, which I personally think is a must. Let's move to the next improvement or update, which I find pretty interesting. In this update, we've been introduced to enhancements in one of the most essential processes in VFX, which is rotoscoping, which is basically a visual effects technique where artists like us trace footage frame by frame to isolate or modify elements, allowing for the combination of multiple layers. And this is undeniably a hellish process, as many of you may be aware. And with the new update, a new tool called Multipoly has been introduced, making it possible for a single node to accept multiple masks, which is ideal when numerous masks or groups of masks are required. The inspector will now handle the listing and organization of these masks within the node. Other node improvements have been made, so all the shape tools now support motion paths, and two new nodes have been added, which are as taxed for adding text to shape-based node trees and SB spline for creating spline shapes. Additionally, the Magic Mask tool now works three times faster, which is very interesting. While the advancements in rotoscoping are sure to streamline the workflow even better, the tracking process has also received a significant update. You know, it seems like AI has been essential in almost every software these days, or they are trying to make it like it is the case. Anyways, many big companies are leaning forward toward developing their AI systems. Since Fusion Studios developers have trained their own AI neural engine, it is no surprise that IntelliTrack is using it. And this makes the tracking process smoother, faster, and more efficient for tracking objects and stabilizing footage. And similar to every software, we can slide other updates regarding the performance of the overall Fusion Studio. And some of its tools and nodes along with some interface improvements have been added. In addition to these important features, there are actually several other updates worth mentioning. The interesting thing about Fusion Studio, unlike other competitors that require subscription-based models, Blackmagic offers a one-time purchase for Fusion Studio, making it a very good and accessible option for both individual artists and studios for under $300. And there you have it guys, this was a quick update about Fusion Studio, so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see videos like this in the future, please subscribe to this channel to keep yourself updated. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.